All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to another FSD beta video. We are doing our typical commute today. Uh, I think the last time I did it, I was on 4.2 or 2.4, I don't remember. Um, so yeah, we are on 69.25.1. Uh, some folks are getting 69.25.2 right now, but uh, I haven't really gotten it yet. So this is our, our route right now. We're not going through that same intersection that we did last time. I don't know, it's not routing me through there, so. Uh, we'll just give it a go from here. I'll engage FSD and I'll just check my speed limits here for FSD. Yeah, I want to do a little bit just over, maybe five kilometers over the speed limit, just because rush hour is typically very aggressive. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy this uh, trip. I'll be skipping all the boring parts just to make it a little bit more uh, interesting. Thank you very much for watching and if you like this video please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel i'm i'm 60 subscribers away from uh, a thousand subscribers so thank you so much for everyone who's been tuning in subscribing and liking my videos i really really appreciate it nice right turn over here Ooh, cuts across here to the other lane not sure why i did that So this is a single lane roundabout. Typically doesn't have issues with this. It doesn't even stop for it. Very nicely done. Very smooth. We're coming up to a turn over here. A little bit of a slowdown, but not a big issue. We do come across those uh, dotted lane over there. We should be turning here. Uh, it's a little bit of a delayed um, um, lane change, so I'm very happy with that. It does actually do the, uh, the lane change in the previous exit from the community a little bit better than this, to be honest. Um, yeah, and that's probably partly because of me trying to fix... And yeah, we're missing our exit over here, so... Not too good. I'm going to let it go. Um, I'd rather take the, the next exit out to the, to the street, so... It's going to be acting a little bit weird over here, so yeah, it's stopping a little bit. It's slowing down. I think it does realize it can't really do anything over here, and it's pushing forward. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a tap here, just to let it go through. Yeah. And then another major slowdown here. I'm gonna give it a tap here. So yeah, not really good. Not very happy with the with the navigation here, which is really pisses me off actually, because I've done this many times and it works well. And whenever I sit to film it, it just doesn't work. <laughs> Don't really know what is its problem and we're getting flashed by cars behind us so yeah okay well c'est la vie let's see how it does with this new route i'm um, just gonna move this down here for visibility of the screen yeah and if you haven't done yet please like my video and please subscribe to my channel it'll help me a lot so the last time around i did this uh uh i did this commute trip uh, I actually had, I think, around five disengagements. So far, I don't have much disengagements, but uh, right now I just did a few interventions, so there you go. Uh, I'm really hoping we'll have less disengagements in this trip, uh, this trip around, because uh, last time when I did this video, um, the wind, like, uh, we had a lot of uh, winter conditions. We had, I think, a little bit more snow and lanes were covered, so it was a difficult one. So I'm hoping for better results in this video. got the flashing green light is it gonna pick the right lane yes it does awesome
flashing lights for an intersection over here and the car stops for a kid passing by and I haven't done anything over here I just had my foot close to the brake but that was very nicely done I would have liked it if uh, the car stopped a little bit further behind just to give space for the kid but uh, regardless that was excellent that was excellent I'll have to rewatch it on the visualization but I'm sure the kid showed up on the visualization short short little fella yeah excellent A slowdown there. I'm not really sure why. Wasn't very nice for the person behind me. Alright, so we're indicating to go right now. I really like that it uh, took the first lane going all the way through this uh, street. And didn't really ping pong much between uh, between lanes. Haven't actually driven th with FSD throughout this whole street for up till here to be honest. So it was my first time experiencing it. Okay, so we're turning in. I would have liked it if there was an indicator. Indicator is coming in late. Uh, okay. The Texas speed limit. I won't like this construction over here, or it's kind of like trying to avoid it as much as possible. And now it goes to the left lane instantly. <laughs> weird behavior. Really hoping we'll give some space for the cars behind us for the right lane over here. It's giving a lot of false indication like indicator for some reason. Alright so I'm gonna bump it up over here because this the 50 zone or the 30 zone is, uh, has ended. Now takes the left lane, left turning lane over here. All right, so far so good. Nice, and now we'll come up to the street and then we've got a long um, drive uh, up to, or down to downtown. Okay, we've got the left turning lane indicator or signal. A little bit of a slowdown, trying to figure out the the turn over here. It's kind of like a wide intersection over here, so that's okay. Really makes you think if we're limited by hardware or not. To be honest, it needs to do that creep into the intersection to figure out where the lane is. We made that guy hot and bothered, so he overtook us. 
So yeah if, you, if you like my videos please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel it'll help me a lot uh, I'm currently trying to reach my thousand subscribers uh, goal and I'm around 60 subscribers short so your subscription is very very much appreciated at this time thank you so much thank you so much for watching I'm gonna go ahead and speed it up over here and uh, unless we get something interesting that comes up and then I'll, uh, I'll tune us in. Enjoy the drive. So at this point we're stuck on this lane and we really don't need to be on this lane. So I've got it on assertive uh, for the beta profile or the FSD beta profile. Here we go. So we've got the indicator to change lanes. You can do it, come on, you can do it, yes, do it, do it, do it, come on, come on, oh my god, holy crap, like these kind of things, like we should, should be able to do it, like I, I don't really understand what's the hold up, uh, I mean I, I understand, it's, it's a difficult thing to solve, full self driving is hard, but I mean, just change the freaking lane <laughs> go to the faster lane we're not really we don't need to be on the first lane to be honest so yeah i'm gonna break it all right And now it wants to change to the first lane. I <laughs> to the faster lane. So yeah, it gets stuck behind slow traffic and it just stays there. And I know this, I've, I've driven this before, so I know it never changes lanes. Um, yeah, uh, let's check out our backup camera. Uh, backup camera is not super clean. It's a little bit dirty, but Regardless, it should be able to change lanes to the to the faster lane because we don't really need to be turning in over here We're still uh, a kilometer away from downtown So there we go first disengagement. It wasn't safety critical though. It was just uh, For my my own personal purposes <laughs> Let's see All right, and if you haven't done yet, please like my video and subscribe to my channel if you really like my content, I really appreciate it. I'm very close to a thousand subscribers, so the subscription is very, very appreciated at this time. Oh, thank God I didn't change lanes over there. <laughs> Would have hit that column over there. It wants to change lanes, but uh, yeah, here we go. We've got the indicator, We've got space, nice, well done. Smooth sailing, look at that. Changes lanes over here, perfectly fine behavior. We're gonna need to be on this lane because it's a turning lane. First or second lane is, uh, they're both okay. They're both turning lanes, so can't complain. Once we do the turn, we're gonna have to switch lanes though again so that we can make it to uh, our parkade. This is going to be a messy intersection uh, this is gonna really put uh, FSD up into its limits over here because once we do this turn we're going to have to cut across uh, to the other lane or like one lane across um, and uh, usually there's a lot of traffic and a lot of pedestrians on this intersection so it's a tough one All right, here we go. OK. 
Okay. Now the real test is we need to cut across over here, so. Let's see. Yeah, I don't think I don't think this is gonna work out, but let's see, we've got the green light, so I'm hoping someone will give us way. We need the indicator FSD. Come on, hit the indicator. Nobody can see the shaded blue line over here. Hit the indicator, come on. Hit the indicator. Ay, 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 ay. Almost. Yeah. So another disengagement. Two disengagements, not too bad. Nothing's really, you know, it's not really a safety critical one, but it should really be doing this stuff. It's uh, kind of the, our basics over here, our bread and butter, navigate and uh, pick the right lane. Be assertive. I've got it on assertive. It's not being assertive enough. So uh, there we go. So anyways, um, we'll just be, we're going to be crossing this intersection. Uh, and we'll probably hit the parkade and uh, th that'll be uh, and the parkade is right next right after this intersection so the video is going to end over there uh, that's our waypoint so thanks everyone for watching I really appreciate uh, all the comments and all the questions and requests that everyone puts down in the comments section below um, if you want to watch my previous commute I've got two parts for that one um, I'll link it up on this video as well and I'll link up some other uh, snow testing that I've done uh, the last few ones, which were pretty interesting. Uh, so, yeah. Thanks, everyone, for watching. And hope you guys have a nice day. We'll see you on the next one.